everyone welcome back to my channel where I do makeup tutorials makeup reviews hauls, and unboxing so if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started because today I have something really fun I want to film and I don't know if you guys heard of the black ink featuring Selena Gomez um, ice cream um, video now those colors in that video really inspire me to do this makeup tutorial and it's so much fun and they're like basically this colors right here they are so so fun so i'm gonna link the video down below and you guys can go ahead and watch it to see what i'm talking about but it gives me this barbie type of vibe and it's so much fun so as you can see i have my face already prepped and I'll be using a ton of fun colors. So what I want to do first, I'm going to be going into the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsession Palette and kind of use this color right here just for a transition color, just to set up the eyes, okay? So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use a Morphe brush, which is a blending brush. And we're just going to set the eyes before we go crazy with the pinks and the blues it's gonna look so much fun the video is so fun to watch it makes you just so happy just watching it it's so cute so i can see what i'm doing so we're blending this transition color and setting up the eye let's do the same thing on this eye i love this morphe brushes these are the brushes that I just got in a boxy charm, so I'm using it for the first first time. But I usually like Morphe brushes. There's one that I don't really like, and the one that I don't like, which is I kind of used it because I have to use it. It's the Morphe Jeffree Star JS9. It's this one, and you can see the bristles. You see how they stick out, and they're very scratchy on the eyelid. So that's my least favorite one. But so far so good with this one. So I prepped my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer, eye primer. I normally use a concealer and stuff, but I wanted to try eye primer for now. Okay, that looks pretty already. Now let's go into this fun color. So what I want to do first, 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 I'm going to go into this pink right here. Again, this is from the Fun Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. So we're going to start slow, okay? And we're just going to do this above the crease is to add this, add this fun pink on my eye before we go crazy with the other hot pink. So we're putting it above the crease. Same thing on this one. This is so fun. It makes me want to go eat ice cream and I want to do this before the actual fall comes here. I guess you can still eat ice cream. But it doesn't give you that summery vibes. Okay, so you can see the, the pink is all set. Now I'm going to go into this hot pink right here from the same palette. I'm going to put this in the crease with the same brush. Might as well use the same brush. Bring this mirror closer. Oh, look at this. Because what I want to do, so I want to use this pinks and blues and maybe a pop of yellow for this eye look. I'm going to copy the ice cream um, colors. It gives you that happy vibe. Mm. I haven't used this hot pink much. You can see that it's barely used in this palette. But you know what? It is so gorgeous and so easy to blend. And it's not patchy at all. It's in, And it's um, a matte. You know, usually mattes are harder to blend and become a little bit patchy, especially when they have such color consistency. Okay, look at that. That looks so pretty. Now, I want to go into this one. I wonder if I should use two. You see this blue right here? This is the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsession Palette. I'm going to use this blue right here. And let's use the finger and kind of put it all over the eyelid. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you know what we're just gonna go with it this is hard with the nails but we're gonna try our best oh, look at those two colors so, so pretty. pretty i want to make this look really really intense i have to go out after this look and i'm gonna be looking really fun and summery but i'll be wearing a mask so i guess my eyes will be popping a lot now let me use the other finger for this eye kind of do the same thing this is so pretty i love these two colors together again look at this look at the intensity of the color and it's still on my fingers that's really pretty 
and I'll go into this pink a bit more that we used for the crease and kind of diffuse here the ends because we don't want to have any sharp lines that's so pretty look at this it's turning into like a purple the blue and the pink together okay let me see can I add anything more fun to this look maybe I'll try let me see what this blue looks like. Ooh, look at this blue. I just want to play with all these blues today, hey? Um, let's try put it... Where should we put it? Let's try put it in the inner corner here. See if it makes a difference. It changes the look. So I'm using this blue right here from the same uh, Sapphire Obsessions palette. It's really hard with longer nails. Okay, gives it a nicer shade. Something more fun to add to the eyes whoa look at that that's so pretty i love it i wish i had a blue lipstick for this look now on the bottom eye eyelid whatever you call this i want to use let's see here i have again huda beauty but i'm using the smoky obsessions palette and i have the black right here and i'll be combining it with the pink right here okay so let me get into the pink first and kind of do the bottom a lash line right here and i'm gonna do a pop of blue in the inner corner i'm gonna use blue right there this is such a pretty eye look if you go ahead and you watch that video you will see the beautiful colors and then you will see the the ice cream colors that they use and that's exactly what i wanted to try accomplish with this look okay now let's use this pop of uh well not this one a little bit of black right here I'm gonna use again a Morphe brush, which is this. No, it doesn't wanna focus right there. You can see I'm using a blue scrunchie. I love the scrunchies and a pink for my hair. I love trying these looks out because you just never know what to expect, right? I don't have any of these colors planned. Just go with the... I mean, I don't know how the look will turn out. I have the colors planned, obviously. Now let's kind of blend this together. I wanted to give it kind of like a smoky effect, but still have the pink in the background down there, you see? That looks so pretty. And now we're gonna go into the... Which blue did we use? Maybe... Maybe we should use it fun more lighter blue that we just put in the inner corner right now and use it in the bottom line here in the inner corner kind of blend the whole look together oh that looks so pretty that looks gorgeous right okay let's add a pop of pink we have um, a pop of yellow right here okay so again this is the huda beauty sapphire obsessions palette then let's add just a little bit because that ice cream does have yellow in it so we're gonna add it in the inner corner kind of right there right there there you go just a little bit of a pop of yellow you see okay so let's blend with a clean brush this is by morphe the their blink type of brush is right here so let's kind of blend everything together so we don't have any sharp lines up here. I want everything to look smooth. So pretty. I love how this look turned out. I love the colors. So pretty. Okay, so maybe add a little bit more in the corner here. I hope I'm in not fuzzy and I'm in frame here. I'm looking in the mirror so I can't tell. Blend everything nicely. Okay, and now let's clean this area up a tiny bit so what you want to do okay i'm gonna use the Too faced uh, born this way multi-use concealer again i got this in a boxy charm so you just get a tiny bit and you put on your head like that you get a pencil type of a brush like this one and you dip in it and you kind of want to clean this go like this you know make a line and then you go into a uh, sponge this looks so pretty but i'm gonna go into the mark jacobs um mascara oh this is such a great mascara and again i'm not gonna add any black eyeliner i was thinking about that on the top lashes i just want to leave this look as is so you guys can see the blues and the pinks better than just adding a eyeliner there you go and look how that looks with look at that you guys like it now let me add more blush it looks kind of pale in the viewfinder uh where is my when i use this 
blusher 004 by i don't know steel spa essentials this big one right here and i just want to add more color in my cheeks i'm using the Too faced what is this one right here this is so cute i have a video coming up on when i bought this Too faced fruit cocktail blush duos like my melon and it does smell as well and i love it it's such a great blush and so i love this color this is my favorite color on my cheeks now i'm going to use the nyx dewy finish setting spray to set everything oh but i don't know if i'm gonna keep this lip color or i should go you know what i think i'm gonna go with a different lip color let me just wipe this lipstick off and then i can show you guys kind of a trick on how to do your lips as well just to tie everything in together i want to do a pink lip i'm gonna use this revlon color stay lip liner it's right here and the shade oh, it's called soft pink and i'm gonna go into the nyx lipstick and this is in the shade violet smoke so what i do is and i saw this trick on pinterest i believe so you do your lips this way so instead of going this this you kind of create a cross right here an x it's very hard to see so you create an x you go from here to here and from here to here and then you start lining and i'm gonna fill it in because when you create that nice x you give your lip that nice uh, um, shape here okay we're gonna have candy lips today ice cream eyes and candy lips and i'm gonna go into this lipstick I don't know how well matches together, but I wanted to have something fun on the lips it's to match the eye color. Okay, so now let's go into this setting spray, like I said. Oh, setting sprays always scare me. I'm gonna use my fan. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my sponge to make sure that everything is set. And this look turned out exactly how I had it imagined. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Let me know what you think of that video, of the ice cream video down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of my look, if you like it, and if it does look like that ice cream cone, mmm, ice cream. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.